I'm gonna put it. Sorry. Boy, if you don't get <laughs> Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hits a block or my tape was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day the number, but I keep. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the entrepreneur vlog episode number two. If you have not already seen my first entrepreneurship vlog, um, I will leave the link to that video down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in watching it. But yeah, I'm kind of pressed for time right now, so I'm rushing just a little bit only because I have to get back to work in a few hours. I haven't done my makeup on camera in a while and I kind of miss doing that. So sorry for the bad angle. Okay, you guys, so makeup is finally done. I know I'm taking product pictures today, but I don't know if I'm going to be in the pictures. But just in case, I did my makeup anyways. I don't know why, but for some reason, it felt like it took me hours to do my makeup this time. So I'm going to put on some perfume. I've been loving the um, Honey Marc Jacobs perfume. Floralish, but also like kind of sweet, a little sweet. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get to work. Girl, we have got to get stuff done. We have deadlines. My mom and I did go to the store and pick up some more storage bins. We picked up some trash cans. So we have a trash can right here. I know I'm gonna be needing a trash can. I just don't know if I'm gonna use this one. I may take it back because it's pretty large. Um, and then even though I'm gonna paint the walls white, I just think this is like too much. So I also picked up this trash can which is more like subtle. And then also it matches this, which I bought the other day as well. This has wheels on it, you can move it or whatever. And I'll probably store like shipping labels or something in there, I'm not really sure. And then we got these shelves for like my decorations to sit on top of. I'll probably hang these on the wall and then put the cups up here for display. Right now I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna show you how I take pictures of my products. And I'm gonna be sending these pictures to the man who's making my website and he's going to upload them. Me, so I can get it, you see fire. Here are one of my backdrops. That's what I'm kind of confused on right now. I'm not sure what I want my theme colors to be for my website. I want everything to be nice, clean, and very minimalistic, but still girly, if that makes sense. So I was more so thinking of like baby pink and white. I feel like that takes away from the cup. So I probably will just use a white fabric, which I do have right here. I'll probably just use this white fabric because honestly, you can never go wrong with white. Yeah, I'll probably just use white. Okay, you guys, so here is what the setup looks like. Um, once again y'all you know I'm in the early stages of transitioning this room into my office so keep in mind all this clutter that's in here right now won't be in here once I finally stop being lazy and decide to move it out what I'm about to do right now is just wipe each item down with some alcohol and a paper towel um, just to shine them up and get them ready for the camera okay so I'm wearing gloves y'all just um, so I don't get any oil or dirt on the cup but I'm just going to go ahead and spray. Wait a minute. Line it up, make it nice and shiny. Okay, you guys, here's the thing I was talking about. It's called a shot box. I couldn't think of the name to save my life, but this is what it looks like. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, give you a better view of what it looks like but it's called a shot box and this is what we're going to be using and i feel like ultimately it's going to look better 
and the light comes on in it. I purchased um, that backdrop stand specifically for my makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Simple is sometimes best. I feel like this little box thing will do the job. These didn't come with it, but you can buy these separately. And these are just extra background. You can change like the backdrop to whatever color you want it to be. The actual shot box itself came with a black and white slip thing, but I think I'm going to be using, I'm gonna open up this pack and see what colors they have inside of here. I'm curious to, to find out myself. They have a peachy looking color. They have a nude looking eggshell color. They have this yellow color. They have green, teal, um, blue. Where's my white one? Y'all, where's the white one? Uh-uh, I want the white one. For some reason, this looks kind of dingy to me. But maybe when it's in front of the light, you won't be able to tell that it's dingy. I don't know, y'all, what do y'all think? Should I do, let me scoot up some. Should I do this product in front of this, this backdrop? Oh, y'all, I'm gonna face my mom and ask her what she think. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I no, behind my stuff, I probably would just do a white one. Yeah, but I'm just talking about just like the things. Oh, I would put black behind them. Black? I would put black behind them because yeah, because it shows up, it makes them pop. Yeah. You can't get uh, black behind this one. This is what I'm using. I just ended up using this piece of fabric for um, a backdrop. And hopefully the pictures came out great. I can't really tell because it's kind of um, bright outside. So my vision isn't the best right now. But I'm going to go in and look over the pictures, review them some more, and see how they all turned out. Hey, girl. Hey. Today it is Tuesday. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you all what I got from Ulta the other day. I got the full-size Pore Perfecting Pair. It comes with a face wash and the Peter Thomas Raw Complexion Correction Pads. I swear by these, you guys. They are what helped me with my um, forehead breakouts. And I also purchased the Flawless Body Beauty Trimmer from Ulta. I purchased the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask from Sephora. I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Oil Free Matte Moisturizer. I also purchased the Josie Moran Vitamin C Serum. And then I purchased the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Cleansing Body Wash from Ulta. Some Bikini Bikini Bump Pads, you guys. This supposedly is going to help prevent ingrown hairs. They're like little exfoliating pads, so we'll see how these work. I also purchased some Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. This is the Moroccan rose one and then I got this lemon body scrub from the body shop I got some exfoliating gloves to use with my sugar scrubs in the shower and then last but not least you guys I got some um, eyebrow razors to do my eyebrows okay you guys so I finally got my printer to do a proper print head nozzle check I purchased some sublimation ink so now I'm about to just go ahead and fill up the cartridges Put that in until you hear a, wait a minute, let me make sure it's on the right side first, honey. Jesus Christ. Until you hear a click, put in the magenta one. You wanna push the black. I'm in my vanity room and I'm just gonna give you guys a glimpse of how junky it is in here. Um, it's already like a fairly small space. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and organize and start putting things away and just trying to tidy up a little bit. Here are all my brushes. I washed them out last night and I'm so glad that I did. And um, my drawers are pretty junky, you guys. They're pretty junky. So I need to go ahead and just declutter and reorganize things. My lipstick drawer is filled to capacity. So I really need to go find some more of these little acrylic organizers. And if some lipsticks were to fall back there, I wouldn't be able to get to them. And then that would cause for my drawer to be stuck and it wouldn't be able to close all the way. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna set you guys up and we are going to begin organizing.
next day and last night I went ahead and filled out all the information for my website. So far I have the about us, the contact us page, the email, the color theme, uh, I have the logo, the social media sites, privacy policy, um, the store policy, the terms and conditions on custom items, the shipping and returns. Um, and all that good stuff, you guys. It's a lot more to it that I still need to, like, go in and double check and reread. I was up all night doing that. As far as, like, the pictures I took yesterday, I'm not, like, 100% sold on, like, the quality. I was trying to use my DSLR camera to, like, take the most professional, crispy, you know, blurry background pictures. But for some odd reason, I really liked the pictures that I took on my iPhone way better. And of course, I don't want to go in and edit the pictures and put any special effects on them because I want you guys to see the real quality of the cup um, in its natural form. So a little light bulb went off in my head and I was like, ding! Instead of me trying to take pictures inside with, with artificial lighting, how about I just go outside and set up my backdrop and use natural sunlight and my little regular schmegula iPhone to take the pictures. And the pictures came out amazing. So that's one picture that I took and it came out really, really pretty. And mind you, you guys, I took this picture with my iPhone um, and the quality is like phenomenal. Yeah, I took a video. This is all natural sunlight, you guys. No artificial lighting, no special effects, no editing, no anything, you guys. This is like the real deal. And that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted you guys to see the real quality of the cups. Therefore, it's like what you see is what you get and nobody will be disappointed. I'm about to forward the information over to the website designer. And I guess he's gonna come up with a few, I think what you call them is like dummy templates, which gives me an idea of how everything looks. I need to, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to add my PO box information into um, this file. Other than that, you guys, I pretty much have everything completed. Um, I'm gonna revise the pictures and go through and see which pictures and videos I like the best. I only have like four products to show on my website and I definitely need more. Um, I will be doing like clothing items and stuff, but I'm waiting for those things to come in the mail and I still have to find a table to put my heat press on top of, which is a struggle because, because the heat press that I have is like 200 pounds. I have to find like a sturdy table, um, that can hold the weight of it. Yeah, it's a lot. But it'll all be worth it um, in the very end. I know many of you guys are trying to start up your own business as well. If you guys ever have any questions on, you know, like what you should put for the terms and conditions or how to even go about starting your own website, please don't hesitate to reach out to me via email or through any of my social media platforms. If there's anything you guys ever want to know, just ask me and I will more than gladly tell you if I have the right answer to it. I am learning as I go. There are still tons of things that I have no clue about. All we can do is learn from trial and error and to keep it pushing so yes i will catch up with you guys later on tonight this is what i started working on last night you guys it is a image of stewie and i'm blinging him out and then i'm gonna um add bling to the rest of the cup as well um it looks like this because i had to sand it down so you won't be able to see that once the rhinestones go on there so i was able to work on this cup last night too this is my starbucks bling tumbler um it just has pearls and rhinestones on it i'm almost done but not quite um i still have a little ways to go i went to joann's and purchased the silhouette cameo 4. by the way this is the 12 inch one from my understanding the silhouette cameo and the cricket machine are like the same exact Thing. However, I am waiting for a company to restock the Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro 24 inch because I really feel like I'll get more use out of that one. Okay, so I want y'all to see this video for one of the slides that I'm going to have for my website. This is one slide of a cup that I made. It was a personalized tumbler. Hey guys, so today it is Saturday and I am on my way to Joann's Fabric and Crafting Store. I have to go and get the blades for my silhouette that I was telling you guys about last night um, because I was not aware that the blades were not included. Hey guys, so we just left Chick-fil-A and come on. Um, I need to put some hand sanitizer on because I was up in that store. We just left Chick-fil-A and I, I was able, I did, Let's I was see. able to go to um, Joann's and get some blades for the Silhouette Cameo machine. To my knowledge, the ratchet blade is like the most popular and it's sold out um, in the stores right now. So I went ahead and purchased this one. I should have got both because they only had one more left, but I only got one for starters. Um, and then I also purchased the mm. Silhouette Premium blade. I have no idea what this blade is used for, but... <laughs> 
Um, if I don't need it, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm sure the return policy is the same for everything in store. Did you tell oh, people you was back eating chicken? I don't think I ever told him I stopped eating chicken. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm eating chicken right now because I need the protein desperately bad. Um, we had stopped eating chicken and we were only eating, what is this, seafood. roasted almonds. And we were only eating seafood, so basically I guess you can say we were pescatarian. Yeah, we were eating seafood. So how, how long did we go eating seafood? So we, like eight months? We went eating seafood for like almost a year, yeah. Oh, I think yeah. it was about eight or nine months. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't plan on like not eating seafood anymore, but right now I've just really been craving like chicken. chicken. And it's terrible because it's like, how do you go from eating only seafood to eating chicken? I still feel guilty. It's just something like I can't shake. Like I can shake it. I just when I, I got can't. sick. I got sick and I had to be. Um, I felt like I was I was needing protein more than what I was getting from seafood and my veggies. Yeah, Charlotte was in the hospital, y'all. She almost showed that video. <laughs> it was a very emotional time. It was. I was stressed the heck out, y'all. I was so stressed out. Charlotte left me by myself. She was in the hospital for like, what, two or three days? Two which days. seemed like an entire month. I kid you not. Yeah, I was going to the grocery store by myself. I was pumping gas by myself. I feel like that's a crime. Like that's something. What's wrong with that? I'm not used to doing that. I was like, what brand of eggs do you get? Look at the folks. They got their money. She lost her car. She forgot where she parked. I hate that. I typically do that when I go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. And I come out and I don't know why. Maybe because I'm in Walmart so long sometimes. And I come out and I be looking all around. But what I typically do is I hit my um, alarm button for my yeah, car. Yeah, make the car go, go off. Mm -hmm. Same. Yep, I just make it go off. But it won't go off sometimes if you're too far away from it. Exactly. So then you still be like, And that's oh. annoying. You be looking stupid. Mm -hmm. And I just be thinking somebody be sitting back in their car watching me. They yeah. do. She lost her car. She don't know her car. <laughs> I'm going to finish. Sorry. I'm going to finish eating my food, you guys. And I'll catch up with you all once we arrive um, to our destination. So we found the table. This is the table that we found. Yes. It's like. 400 bucks or something like that but this is the one that we're gonna get so just want you to see that okay so we got the table that we're gonna get we were looking for something for um the heat press to go on so we did get something so yay super excited yes 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 now my baby can get her um heat press up off the floor which weighs like 250 pounds she can get that up off the floor and she can um, actually get started and what I like about this is that you can actually um, adjust it for whatever height you wanted to adjust that let me turn around so you can see so it has like this little handle right here and you guys can actually let it's it up but she'll show you more at home I kind of sound hypocritical because I just verbally expressed how i would never spend four hundred dollars for a table in the car but i did we were just talking about that when we were um eating our chick-fil-a however oh look at this thing with wheels you see any space heaters mama ain't nobody getting no space it's turning until summertime yeah i have a weird obsession with space heaters look at this thing with wheels on it but i cannot pass this one up because it's super sturdy and it's literally the perfect height the stuff that makes you sweat. Is it wild enough though? Probably not. It don't look like it's wild Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Definitely not reasonable. Definitely not a reasonable price, but it's super sturdy. It's super sturdy and um, it's a nice height, so yeah. So you think that's really cute? Yeah, to hang where on would you put it at? Where at With a green plant next to it? You hang it? Yeah, I like that. How much is it? <laughs> Charlotte says she like this, y'all. Like it says it. success. I like it. It is, oh, never mind. How it's much $50. It? It's a glass platform like the one I have at home. It's the real deal. That's why it's yeah, $50. Yeah, yeah. It's an LED sign, but it's 50 bucks. So you think we should pass? You, um, which it hangs up on the wall. You gotta plug it in. Yeah, I don't like that. I like if Lamar, you come and put it in where you can't see the it's not gonna fall on your head. What do you do? You <laughs> She's so silly. I don't either. Oh, absolutely not. You're gonna slide right off. And 
Boy, if you don't get to <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> okay, it's time to go home. Somebody needs a nap. But what I want to know is, but I have a quick, okay. <laughs> but on a real serious, okay. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Okay, you guys, so they are bringing um, the table out now. I'm so super duper excited, you guys. I cannot wait. I finally get to, um, oh gosh, they're bringing the table. Need some more help? Yeah, yeah. Turn it over. Watch our hands. Thanks, guys. No problem. I think I'm gonna close this vlog out here. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. If you guys um, enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, girl, so that you are always notified when new content is uploaded here on my channel. Um, and stay tuned for the next vlog. Did you pull that ice from back there? No, I didn't touch it. Sure, it like that. Stay tuned for the next entrepreneur vlog, you guys, um, to see the progress as far as like the website goes and the content that I'm gonna be uploading for my store and things like that. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.